man, I'm looking rough. Hey guys, uh, doing a uh, chat with Dan, just going over things. We got it's a nice day, it's cold outside. But figured I'd just chat with Dan, see what's going on. Okay, just give me a minute here to ring him up. Enter the waiting room and admit. going on, cuz? Hey. I'm going to throw a background on here somehow. I got to figure out how to get to the fucking thing. So recording. We're, last time we did this, I was recording. We recorded for two hours, and I didn't record. <laughs> I remember. That was funny. Uh, I got to find out how to get to that little uh, wheel so I can do some... Uh, so I can change my views, like what's behind me. Oh, go to settings. Yeah, I can't see settings though. You have to go on the opening page. I only got the one page, is why. Um, hold on a second. Oh. I'll uh I'll try something. Oh, here we go. I think I might have it. Um settings, contacts, channels, search. Cloud home chat meetings. Fuck. <laughs> I never see. Can I, you ring me back in a minute? I'm just going to pop out. All right, bud. Hold on, hold on. I, I, go to home. See where it says home? Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Thank you. I can do it now. I'm a bit of a retard sometimes. Sorry. Sorry. Right, so am I. I forgot to record the last fucking session. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, <laughs> the, you braces, the big bright button at the bottom, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. What do I feel like today? Maybe this one. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Well, I had an interesting thing with uh, just woke up with it from it. Oh, yeah. It's not exciting, but it's something. So, yeah, the, the the crisis working with me. I'm at home. I'm right. free. I'm free. No one's in me. Then I can feel him tying a wire on my leg. So I knew that was coming. That's happened for nine years. So I know when he's tied a wire on your leg. Yeah. For what? It's around my crotch to keep me in my bed. So I don't. Oh fuck! How come not everything's blurry behind you? I hit blur. You know where you're. You change the things. Oh yeah. Yeah, they'll say one. Oh okay. Background blurry. Wow, that's pretty good. That I uh, yeah, I like it. won't be able to see the orbs, but it's a good thing to have. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Anyway, cruising across your head. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So he, he ties me down to the bed, right? And I, I reach in into my leg and pull the cord out and cut it. That pisses him off. Then, um, he came into my head. And he wanted to watch to see where I was going. So he came into my head because I didn't tell him no. I didn't think I was supposed to, but I guess right. I was. So well, he comes in. They know he's got car blanche on your fucking body. <laughs> yeah. <in> your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I I tried to get him out. Release me. I said, release me. All that <laughs> shit. Then that didn't work. So I went to uh, the halls of justice. I ended up talking to a guy there. Right. He read he read my paper, the stipulations paper or whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know. And then um he released me after that. Then I went to Bone Jesus's house and <laughs> fell asleep there and everybody's yelling at me because I pissed off JC. Then from That's there, and I brought my fishing rod because I wanted to go fishing. We gotta go fishing, Dan. Sure Down at Erio somewhere. <laughs> Fucking right, brother. And then um I went to uh and I went fishing at down the river and we were both fishing and he but in the dream he was Jay, my friend, Jay and Chatham. Right. Well, he's Daryl's friend, really. But I saw him as Jay. I mean Jay were fishing and I caught a little fish, <laughs> a little tiny thing, nothing good, <laughs> nothing big. And then um 
I reeled it in, and I took it off, threw it back in the water. Then I had to go do so. I think I got to go pee. So I ended up run, running into the, looking for a store on one of the side streets, but there wasn't any. So I ran around and then I got on this main road and there was uh, a monster truck parade. And so I stood there and all the people were lining up to watch the parade. Right. And I wanted to see the monster trucks, but they weren't coming. And it seemed like and I had to get back to the fishing spot. So I started running again. I finally get back down to the river. I go to the place where the, the old people lived on the water. They're like, they got a bunch of houseboats on the water. Right. And you can run in there and you can see everybody. And there are these grandmas and a couple of them were really mean, but a couple of them, a couple of old guys, they seem pretty cool. And I was talking to them for a little bit and I was like a little kid. Right. Right. It was weird. And, uh, and I'm talking to them about my, my tooth. <laughs> I go, you want to see a tooth move? So I'm showing them my tooth move. They go, that's cool. They're like, that's cool, man. I'm like, yeah. You still going? Yeah, I ain't pulling it up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look for okay. the fallout. Okay. Holy fuck, bud. Doesn't that drive you nuts? Yeah. You're going to uh, wake up one of these nights, it's going to be gone, it's going to be in your gut. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Yep. It'll fall out. Yeah, it will. It doesn't hurt, eh? No. Have you been rinsing with peroxide? If I eat something, I bite down on it. Yeah. That's one of the Oh, hurts. yeah. Fuck, but, I bet. But pulling it out, that's when it hurts because the skin around it is yeah. like, yeah. Hold it. and then it. fuck it. That's why I'm saying if you uh, if you wash your mouth with peroxide, it'll eat away at all that skin. Yeah, loosen up. I do. But anyway, sorry for cutting you off again. Yeah. yeah so I went back to the fishing spot. Jay wasn't there. Then I was running around talking to me, and then there was, there was more and more people coming. I said, "Why are all these people coming to somebody?" And they go, "Oh, there's going to be a parade, a boat parade, a boat." parade down the river and then i got so many goddamn people down there i couldn't figure out what was going on right and uh i woke up as soon as i woke up i didn't hear anybody like i usually do right right usually i hear my wife and kids all yelling at me but then i started i just thought of my i just closed my eyes and i think about my bed at home right. and i i fly home right so right. that's what i did then I stopped halfway and went to the illusion room. I get to the illusion room because I didn't want to go home because I didn't know what was waiting for me. Right. Everybody would get mad at me, right? So I'm in the illusion room and I'm they're talking to me. Everybody's talking to me. And it turns out that I had to push Jesus away for him to leave. Wow. Yeah, like I literally had to go up to him. And push him and push him. And if he kept saying no, pop him in the fucking face. That's what he wanted me to do. Or wow. use or use my inner light to push him away or something. But odd. I know. And I'm like, why the hell do I gotta do that? Then I get arrested for this, that, and the other I thing. I seen that on your video. I know, I know, right? Yeah, you were talking about that one video there with the the one you hyphenated all the th the last one I watched anyway. You were talking yeah. about it in there. It's crazy how it works. Wow. I didn't know that you, there's little rules like that. You got to learn. Wow. But I didn't go to the illusion. That's nice. No fights. I was down the river. Well, that's no good. Everybody was having a good day. Nobody was bothering me. Didn't fight. No, I don't usually fight until people come up and start doing things to me. Well, maybe he was trying to see. Like, maybe they're trying to gauge where your power is because you don't fight. They must yeah. know from as fucking many as people as you fucked up over there. Blowing oh, I... skins off with <laughs> shotguns and shit. Like, do you think they'd know? <laughs> yeah, I know, man. That's crazy. Uh... See my two little alien dudes fishing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Down on the earth? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, they're fishing for crackheads. They can do anything. To, <laughs> yeah. They can do anything to a crackhead. Nobody mm -hmm. will believe them. I thought that was so funny when I made that picture. <laughs> Fucking beer bottles floating away in space. Everybody's drinking, having a good. <laughs> <laughs> Except for us, because we can't come out of our suit. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's going on with you? Well, I, not much. I have my talk to my lawyer. They're getting ready to do discovery for my thing. 
So uh, going to be probably hopefully within the next few months sitting on a big chunk of change. Nice. Be able to afford to go fishing, bud. Yeah, we'll go I'll... fishing at a spot you won't fucking believe. <laughs> I'm actually <laughs> thinking of since I don't got nothing holding me back. I was thinking of packing a bag and fucking off for a couple months, going all over Canada. Really, I can't do that, but that'd be fun. Well, if I get a hold of a vehicle, we can. Yeah. Like it ain't don't cost that much to stay in motels and shit, and we can camp and do whatever else, bud. We can go anywhere. I I want myself to go to Prince Edward Island. I want to go to Newfoundland. Or things I've never like I haven't been out of Ontario hardly in my whole entire life. I right go to British Columbia. That I would like to go to too, bud. I think that would be my final stop. I'm scared I won't come home. Yeah, you won't. (laughs) But uh, (laughs) Dan, you'll be there. You're like, I'm dying right here. Fuck it. I love Chatham too, though. I mean, Chatham's always, I don't know what it is. It's a, it's always a special place to me, I guess. Yeah. It's mellow and you know it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how to act anywhere else. I just only know how to act here. But yeah. So when I do get my money, though, I'm going to have a big fucking party. I know that. Well, I would say if you don't go camping, buy yourself a camera. I mean, you go out. And the uh, rest of our lives doing paranormal shit. Fuck, we I would be, love to do paranormal shit, bud. We could do, do team. That. We could be a team, make our yeah. own fucking. We'll start yeah, a new we year. And we, you, you said you're getting your. Uh, Gonna your, get an audio, yeah. Yeah, Fit, your, uh, music your little, in an audio uh, studio, so we'll be able to do everything right there. Yep, and we'll get the be- the best Adobe. Yeah. Processing for, for when I go game. to buy my shit, I'll come and see you. Well, we'll, I'll be right there. Don't we'll worry talk about, about what to buy for my studio. Like, I'm going to go get professional help because my studio is going to be set up professionally. Right, right. Because it's going to be sound room and everything, right? Like, it's professional. So, uh, well, yeah, if you want to do paranormal shit, um, I, I would love to do that. I, I expect you're getting a little vehicle out of this. Oh, I'm going to buy a truck or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, so when you do, and we got nothing to do every fucking night all summer long. Yeah, like I'm ready to go to your house right now. Other than it's like minus five, oh, but cleaning the garage. I came back in. It's fucking. It looks nice out, but it ain't really. It's cold. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm ready. I, I'm. I'm itching to do C fives again. Well, you know, there. you don't have to ask when you want to do that. Just come over. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, I'm gonna try and uh, set up a gazebo or something out in the yard where we can sit in the summertime this year. Just trying to think if I want to build something myself or if I want to buy something. Like yeah. I can't buy nothing until I get my money, but I can build something really nice for us to for you to film and sit on, you know. Yeah. And uh, your chair's fine with me, Uncle. Well, I know, but I was thinking of having it comfortable so that there's places to put drinks and you know a cooler and other things like you know we could spend the night out there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like you could come over and stay the whole night if you wanted out there, right, bud? Yeah, yeah. Got a bathroom here, whatever you need. We're definitely going to do something. I want to go out to the lake. But I'd like to go to some paranormal places, too, and uh, and uh, investigate, do some investigating here in Ontario and around. Yeah, like uh, if we go, I don't know. Yeah. Two or three days I can do. Two or three days a week. Right. Something like that a week. But I got to be back because of government. Right. So, well, that's that's all fine, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I good mean, time. Yeah, I just signed those papers this morning. I was happy as hell. My lawyer came right here to sign them outside. And <laughs> all right, the guy that I'm suing lied like a fucking idiot. He was hiding in the wind. They're all fucking. Is that right? Eh? Oh yeah, he lied. They got him in lies, lie after lie. And I like he didn't really, he doesn't really have any money, but. My accident was really, if you boil it down, was considered a car accident. So it goes through his insurance. So I'll get paid no matter what. Okay. Yeah, it's just how much. Like, I don't know if I. That's for what you fell out of the tree. Yeah, the bucket. Yeah. The bucket. Yeah. Like, I don't know how much I'm getting, but at the least, I would think right around 150,000, you know? Yeah. And, And with that much money, I can set myself up for the rest of my life. I can fix the house so it don't ever have to be done again. I can get all the equipment I ever need. I can get a vehicle, give yeah. the kids some money, and put money in the bank for traveling. Because I am going to travel. I'm going to do a little bit. Yeah. Colleen, she nice. has to work. That sucks. But 
I'm well, you, we don't gotta go far to see awesome, cool shit in Bigfoot. Oh, right on, but I know that that's one day drive, thing. like eight hour drive, and we're Killarney National Park for sure, bro. You know, you wait, they're there. I already know they're there. I can feel them when I was there. Didn't yeah. see anything, didn't have any experiences, but I looked in them damn woods and I'm at, uh huh, <laughs> <laughs> yep, okay, looking up to the Bigfoot. Yep, well, they're there, and that's what I, was, I want to say this. You know that uh, when I went into the other dimension with my head and mm-hmm. the Bigfoot world? Yeah. Well, I broke that veil or whatever and went in, saw the church and the hospital and the Bigfoots were dressed like nurses. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Right? We got to watch the video. But after that, I've been... Well, they can make you see however they want, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it was like a greeting place. Oh, maybe. For bringing people in. People that crossed over went here to cross over. Right. And so that was their place. And it was all set up so that person um, wouldn't freak the fuck out. Right, right, right. Now, it, I have to do that. I don't even do it. My inner light does it, right? But what if the Sasquatch can just do it, meditate, and pass through that veil, standing up, and they're gone, right? I'm just saying, okay. But anyway, that's not what I want to say. I'm sitting here all mellow. Mm -hmm. And I'm hooking up to the girl Sasquatch. Right. So that means she ain't that far away, wherever she is, in another dimension or whatever. I'm hooking up to her because I looked in her eyes and I got the feel of her, right? Right. And so my spirit hooks up to hers. And I'm staring right. I ain't staring in her face. That's I got to say that. I'm not staring. It's like. When I hook up to a spirit or another person far, far away, right. I can see them right. spiritually. But when I hook up to the Sasquatch girl thing, hmm. I don't see them, but I feel them. Wow. So that marked me something in my head. What's saying, it feel like? What's what's the a uh, girl? Feeling? It just feels like a girl. Oh, yeah. No anger, no nothing, no rage, just different emotions and stuff. And I get so freaked out that I back away. I cut the connection because right. I think I'm going to go through and just fucking disappear and die or something. <laughs> I get scared, <laughs> right? I don't want to go. I don't want to go back now that I know I, I've researched a little bit more into myself. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to go. I mean, if I wake up and I'm there, okay, that's one thing, right? <laughs> that's different, you know, then I can. But if I do end up there, I just say, take me back, take me back. And they'll tell me how to do it. And hopefully they seem like they would. They're nice. I don't, I don't see much problem there. But if I wake up and I go through the veil and half of me's there and I go right. all the way through and it closes behind me, yeah. what the fuck do I do? Uh, yeah, I ain't living. I ain't living there, man. Ooh. I wonder what it'd be like to live there. Dude, you shit yourself every day. Oh, I imagine, but I know I would. There's got to be, there's got to be human souls in that. Oh yeah, realm. They that, got it. They got it set up from our culture to here, and they they talked about the humans. The, the one guy said, "Well, yeah, we'll ask the humans to help us," <laughs> and they all laughed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what they said. We'll ask the humans to help us. <laughs> 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 they all laughed and I'm like God, I, I ain't gonna ask fuck it <laughs> so I don't know yeah uh, but well, the human race, race is judged on its weakest link I'm sure you know yeah like I don't know what they think about us but what do they think about the Middle East and all them fucking shit that goes on there like our lives here are fucking nothing compared to what goes on over there we got these two big ass zits I popped on my nose. <laughs> I ate a chocolate bar the other day. That's I it. I can't see them. Hurt. No, I popped them. They're just red dots. Look like. Anyway. Um, what else happened? I'm not owned by Christ anymore, so that's nice. Well, that's a bonus for sure, brother. <laughs> I don't know why Christ would own anybody. Well, it was part of the part of the it was like uh from what I understand, it was a contract. And for 10 years, I always had a Christ with me or inside me, taking care of me. So I when I go off and 
when I go to sleep at night, I go into the illusion, right? Or I go into St. Lucian mm -hmm. and I go to all my old places. Well, there's people there that don't like me and there's people there that want to fight me <laughs> and there's people there that want to steal my shit. So I always get in a fight with them and that can kill me any fucking minute. Too bad there wasn't just curious people there that want to fucking yeah, yeah, well, talk yeah. and learn about, well, I suppose they know everything about here, right? Because yeah. they've been here. But yeah. they wouldn't, you wouldn't know everything about there because of what your situation is with that. Right, right yeah. <laughs> uh, like that, if they've been on Earth, your, your kids, they've never been born, right? They were born out of your wife. So mm. they've never been here in the illusion. No, no, no. All they've ever known is St. Lucia. That's right. right. They don't know anything else. And they know Christ. Well, they have experiences through me, like through they see what I see and they experience. <laughs> but so their innocence must be just fucking phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Like on their end, because they haven't, I don't know if there's a proclivity to, to sin there or if they know what that is, even. No, I don't think they do. It seems to me like the way you judge it or you say it all the time, that it's just life. And they're involved in it. Yeah, but it's just the way it is. On a higher level than what kids here on Earth are. Well, <laughs> kids here on Earth are the same way. But I, I asked, I asked my wife, I asked her, I go, are they going to be born? Are they going to the illusion? Because I got some shit to say right. before they go. And she right. goes, no, they're never going to the Earth. Wow, they're never going to be living on the Earth. And I go, well, you know what? They're going to grow up eventually, and they're going to get old enough, and they're going to get curious, and they're going to want to go. So these are these are Christian kids that have only been with Jesus. Mm -hmm. They don't know anything else. Right. Okay. And I've never seen them in the spirit. Like they've been there only in my physical life. Right. The last 10 years. So, and they've only known Christ. And they're like, I don't even know how old they are. But imagine this. Imagine kids that were born not with Christ in the illusion. And they're running around down there like that one, the last video I wrote about the little innocent thing that flew around my head going, Richie, 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 right? <laughs> <laughs> Drive me bad shit. Crazy. <laughs> I was ready to fucking, <laughs> fucking put my head in front of a train. Wow. Jesus Christ. And it was pure innocence. It was just driving you nuts. Yeah, yeah. Because it was, of it, it's Matrix. It, it's makeup. Yeah, yeah. It was just a little kid. Like, right. You know when you know when you just start walking and the kids are running around screaming. Yeah, well, that's what this thing was doing. But somebody took it out in the middle of the illusion somewhere and left wow. it there. Like, yeah, and then another guy he was floating through there doing something and he saw it, he heard it, ran over to it, picked it up, and brought it back to this place. Well, right. I went to the place to go to sleep and it attached itself to me. So I went up to St. Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck, no, no, oh, it followed me here. <laughs> so it's in St. Lucian now? No, they took it back down. Mm. But it took me two days to get rid of it. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. It's just a cute little kid running around. Richie likes music. Richie. <laughs> and basically, I'm different from everybody else. So right. it's, I'm, it's already attractive. <laughs> Right, you're yeah. the novelty. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's cool. <laughs> and I got three voices. Of, I got two innocent voices inside me. My 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 innocent soul kid that likes mm -hmm. to go fishing. Mm -hmm. Then I got Elizabeth. She's being born, so she's got a voice. Right. Then, so I got two voices already. Then I got my subconscious, and it's talking to me all the time. Then, but it talks different. It's like. <laughs> and i gotta try to figure out what he's saying wow and um then i got my ego where i just <laughs> you know what i mean so and that's harder to hear because it's never focused but right i'm like my ego is the big protector of my innocence so when i'm in a dream and i'm playing and a bunch of kids come up and abuse me right Remember when you were a little kid? We were little kids. Yeah. And and we were walking down the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. And then a bunch of guys would start yelling at us and calling us names. And oh, yeah, then they then they'd throw snowballs at us that were like missiles. Yep. And they hit us and nearly knock us on our ass. And then they'd come over and do it beat <laughs> us. Well, that's what it's like in St. Lucian. 
Wow. Right? But all of a sudden, I'm in the dream, and all of a sudden, I wake up, and my innocence is being attacked, and I can see it. I just start punching the first guy there, right? Wow. It's, it's my, that's my bigger soul, your innocent soul, and then your bigger soul. So it's like my bigger soul plus my ego are one, and when I'm being attacked, they come, and I wake up. And I see it. I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> and I just, you know, start fighting. And it's all good. Fuck. I'm just self-defense. You got something That's... purple behind you? That? On your black rug? My black rug. Yeah. They're... Oh, you don't even... There's some, this purple little hump keeps coming up behind you. Oh, this... I got right my... on your... It would be on your left shoulder, right about... Oh, right no. About here it just keeps popping up and then it moves around and then all of a sudden it, you move it's gone it comes back up looks like a little head oh maybe i don't know pretty cool <laughs> you see it right now yeah it's coming right out of your shoulder oh maybe there it's... this right here oh over here yeah right here yeah yeah it, maybe it's bleed off of the rug or something yeah, i don't know light yeah it looks well, like a little head at first like it still does it round it goes round but while you're talking he's kind of moving and Oh, really? Yeah. I'm to host too. Just curious. You never know what you're gonna see behind you. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. Why I, always look behind you. <laughs> I count the orbs too. <laughs> see the one in the other video come out of my throat? No, I didn't. It was a but I've seen chakra. it before. And it went <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it right go by your throat. head before. I've seen yeah. them like yeah, if they're right behind you all the time. Yeah, yeah. These ones here I got here are all black. I haven't seen any colored orbs lately. I haven't seen colored orb in probably eight months. Mm. Yeah, just just, black ones. I've had a lot of looky loos mm. messing with me. I, there's a, one came up, put his hands on my shoulders. Oh fuck! Like, in the apartment, like really, right here, he put his hands on my shoulders so I could see. I looked back to see who it was. <laughs> it was some guy with his black scraggly beard and curly long hair, and mm. I just grabbed my. I grabbed my freeze card and my free fire card and went, <laughs> set them on fire. <laughs> then, he, then he ran away. Then he ran away. And then he came back and he's standing over there by the door behind me. And I could feel him going. And I went, <laughs> I hate it. I wrote a song about that. Yeah. called bear my bones that song i wrote bear my bones yeah. but that's that's what that's about fucking something from fucking looking behind you over your fucking shoulder really eh? oh yeah. yeah all the time I, I i sit here watching and i ain't smoking but i got my ashtray here right right got my ashtray by the computer and i'll be watching and i'll see a hand come up and reach for the fucking cigarettes oh wow and i'm like you little fucker so yeah, they, they want my fucking cigarettes, man. It's brutal. Wow. That's crazy. And I, I don't see he's a fast kid. He's a fast little kid. And I never get to see him, you know. But I'm like, would you fuck off? God damn. Fuck, we gotta play mark this time on your thing because oh we're not recording. Okay. Yeah, we are. Are we? Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, I just heard a double voice in there coming off of you. You were saying something, and then something behind you in the air, exact same voice said it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was weird. I couldn't have thought it was Echo for a second, but it was gone. So it couldn't have been Echo. Oh, no, I, I got, oh, I know what, I know what that thing is. It's my chair. No, this was vocal. No, the head. Oh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, you're right on the other shoulder. I didn't know you were sitting in the, yep. Yeah. That's it. Good discovery. <laughs> <laughs> see people he is fucking honest it ain't all about ghosts it's just about shit that goes yeah. on. and you sometimes they move shit like my lighters and stuff and oh i've had that the many, times. Yeah. Fuck, many times i've had shit move mostly the remote for the tv because that angers me the most yeah. i think they're trying to get me angry i'll know the remote's sitting somewhere and i'll go to fucking get it and fuck drive me i'll start ripping the couch apart turn back around and there it is i'm like yeah. what the fuck Brutal. Either I, I missed it, didn't see it. I hate I hate apartments because they all live here. 
right? They die here and they live here. Then their relatives come. And then the, the apartment building over there, they all have little intricate fucking tunnels and shit that come. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. And they're all it's changing all the time. It's that building bed. you're in is quite uh, old, too. That building you're in is quite old, bro. It, it, it looks old. It is. Uh, it's probably fucked. I bet you had to have been there probably in the 50s and the 40s, I think, maybe, or maybe a little later, maybe in the, I don't know, but it's been there for a while. I know that. Maybe 60s it was built. I don't know. Um, I know it's old. Yeah. But a yeah, lot of people have died there, I oh, imagine. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. And now more so because it's, it's catered to uh, the, uh, well, some of those apartments are rented out to people that are, um, incapacitated, right? They got wheelchairs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Bunch of grandmas live here. Yeah, so grandmas nice. too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bad building anyway. It's a nice building. I mean, yeah, it's quiet. In the summertime, they make it look half decent out front. It's yeah. set back in, which is cool. Yeah. You know, we got a lady that runs the place. She's nice, an old lady, and. Oh, you got, should try and get that job. Yeah, I know, right? You'd be fucking excellent at it. You know, or the caretaker. Yeah, exactly. Or help him out. Yeah. His name's Richard. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I go, Rich. He goes, hey, Rich. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she passed each other in the hallway. When you had that dream about Jay, was that last night? No, nah, just 12 o'clock. Oh, I had a dream last night about Jay, uh, Jay too. Jay Musklock, my friend that died from mm-hmm. cancer. He, uh, I had a dream about him. It wasn't uh, long and brief. It was very brief, but uh, I remember we were at some big place and uh, everybody was sitting around and I seen him sitting there and it was pretty cool. I don't really remember much of it, but I remember him being there. Yeah. It was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, he's dead now. He's young, really young. Though. Excellent guitar player, bud. That guy would have looked. He, he just. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck. He taught me a lot of guitar, and I mean, he was good. He, he could play guitar with his eyes closed, fucking his hands tied up. He's just natural ability. Yeah. Me, when I wanted to play guitar, you know, the only natural ability. We got singers in the family and stuff like that. But when it comes to natural ability for guitar, I never, God didn't give me not me. <laughs> yeah. Fight for everything I know. Uh-huh. You know, it was hard go. And the only reason I did is because everybody kept telling me I wouldn't. <laughs> everybody told me I couldn't do it. You can't fucking play guitar. You'll never fucking care who you say. You'll never fucking learn how to play that. <laughs> Just a waste of fucking time. Yeah. Showed them all. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Do. Fucking awesome. right, man. Not only did I learn how to play guitar, but I fucking got my voice good enough and I got smart enough to where I could do, uh, where I could record my own songs, write and produce my own songs. Yeah. Oh, I just had another memory. You want to hear it? So this yeah. happened the other day. This happened the other day. Sure. I was waking up. I was sleeping, dreaming. Mm-hmm. And I woke up in my bed at home in St. Lucian. As I'm waking up in my bed, this sharp pain, like a needle, went into my foot. Oh, really? And I, I fucking woke up like, oh, fuck. So what happened was Jesus reaches over. I go, fuck, I just fucking, what's that? And mm-hmm. then Jesus was there. The guy, the new guy, mm-hmm. not the old guy. The guy that stabbed me in the dick. It was the same thing. But this one was, <laughs> in, my, this one was in my foot. So it was like a needle like this, like a big ass needle. And uh-huh. anyway... When I came back to to my ethereal body or whatever it is, your skins. You're so real. you're sleeping on the bed. My 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 ethereal is sleeping there with my physical, but then right. I, my soul leaves. But when I come back, my soul comes back into the ethereal. From what I understand, and what they did was they put a needle in my foot, my mm. ethereal. So when I came back, the skins tightened up around it, and it went, oh. "Ow!" And I go, "What so the it was fuck?" Like somebody really did it. Yeah, I go, "Why in the fuck would you do that?" <laughs> I don't know how it works, but why would you do that? <laughs> I don't really understand it. Why would you? He goes, "Well, he goes, we had to check out your your uh, biosensitivity or something because 
I guess if you're biologically sick, you wouldn't have felt it. Right? And I'm like, dude, I'm 53, not 190, right? Come on. <laughs> wow. So anyway, I just thought I'd put that in. That's a little something. Well, that's that cool, though. I mean, it definitely yeah, yeah. Cool. But that, like, how come I, I want to get a good question? Why, why are they trying to, uh, as you said, you were, they tried to tether you to your bed? Yeah, there's ways of doing it. I can tell you them. Well, I was just curious as like why he's he why like I know they don't want you out of your bed, but yeah, yeah. For what reason? Like they they allow you in the illusion. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't want me to go to the illusion. Now I can go to the illusion, insane illusion. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that's what I meant by so this is creating over there your rooms. Right, right. So this is my bed. My fingernail is my bed. Okay. And I'm laying on my bed. Mm -hmm. So I'm my my body is on the earth, which right. is down here. Okay. The earth plane. Yeah. My 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 soul lives here in St. Lucian. Right. So when I leave my body, they go, they get the, the in the illusion. Okay. Right. And it's St. Illusion that I, I travel in. I'm not allowed to go into the illusion which is right. the cosmos right. more or less. And the, the main illusion zero that I call it one one of the Christ called it zero. You were living in zero for a long time, Rich. I'm like, what the fuck is zero? Oh, it's the illusion. Well, the illusion's everywhere, right. but I live in St. Lucian illusion. So when I leave my body in St. Lucian, I go and take off. But my body, physical body, is still in St. Lucian, and it's down here, too. Wow. So it's in two places. This is getting really technical. But, and then when he stuck the needle in my foot and I came back, I, I came back to my body, and my skin went <clears throat> tightened up. Uh, right? It hurt. Like, hell, he didn't jab me. He just sat it there right. in my skin when I came back. Around. Yeah. Wow. Now. Let's say that's the St. Lucian. My, my hand is my uh, Richard yapping to you right now. Right. I, we get done the video. I go to bed. I'm in St. Lucian, my soul. But my ego is talking to my wife and kids. Okay. Right. Then I fall asleep. And I leave my, right. I leave my body. My uh, thorough, whatever. That, whatever the fuck is left in St. Lucian, right. I leave and I go into the illusion. Now I can go into the illusion and play. In St. Lucian, which is fine. But if I go up higher, right now, illusion is a box, a box, huge box. If I travel up, let's say a few miles or kilometers or whatever it is, I leave the box and it's invisible and I enter the illusion, zero. And it's lawless, it's like no man's land. Wow. zombie apocalypse more or less but it's not there's no more people that live there too all the really bad people live down in fucking hades and shit right. i don't even go down there at all because my like my innocence likes kids and playing and playing with trains and things so if i go into the zero well, your innocence is not going to go seek out death yeah yeah exactly <laughs> Well, That's why, why you need it? your innocence, man. Fucking right, man. I mean, and, um, why would it? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Especially so, if, you know, the nasties, the ones from here are sent there to suffer in time. You know what I mean? Like right. JB and all of them, or GB. Yeah. The the Twin Towers procrastinators. and yeah. or not, not procrastinators. That's, I mean, uh, people that did that, you know? Yeah. And I heard that, uh, remember McCain, I heard he got killed for that. Like he was put to death. Yeah. For that. You tell by, I guess, was it, or was one of them guys that were doing their funeral and the flag was wrinkled on their casket, which means disrespect or he, he wasn't. I a, didn't know that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't a good guy. I just took it for heart. Well, I know they, they weren't, we know but that they that honor them mind, right? 3,000 yeah. people were killed for what? A ritual and so that they wouldn't usher in a new monetary system. Yeah. You know? That's sad. Yeah. Let's come to that. It's just like Rome. 
Absolutely. Rome did the same goddamn thing to his people. I was reading politicians. the other day, bud, and, and I was reading about because of the pyramids and all that, and I was interested, and I was trying to read to figure out what was going on, like, because when you try and prove that they built them or did aliens build them, you know, but, and then it went off on a tangent. I did not know that the fucking, uh, that the Jewish people enslaved the Egyptians before the Egyptians enslaved the Jewish people. See, that's different. That's earlier times. Yeah. That's earlier. I did not know that the fucking, the Jews I didn't know he enslaved the fucking the Egyptians. Yeah. Well, but but who the and people it was Joseph that yeah, you know, well, anyway, the people that built the pyramids were 40,000 years earlier. Exactly. Yeah. So the time the Jews and all that came, it was what eight thousand years ago. Well, it just seems ridiculous. The like, fucking pyramids been sitting there for a long took, time. They took they're trying to say they took 20 years to build them, you know. Yeah, and, and then they had to house and feed. 30,000 fucking workers, <laughs> exactly. you know, and all this and that. Yeah. It was just, it was a funny thing because I was on that premise, but then it went the tangent and I actually found out something I didn't know, which was yeah. that the Jews enslaved the Egyptians before the Egyptians and oh. Pharaoh enslaved the Jews. And it was, you're right. I, yeah. I didn't know that. I know that the pyramids were built long before I, yeah. the, the current yeah, well, Egyptians were there. Yeah, yeah. Well, for me, anything that comes out of anything that could, out of fucking uh, university professors, right? Fuck it. Don't even bother. I mean, listen to it. But far as uh, this is what I think happened. Well, this is this, is this mainstream idea that yeah. ideas they don't even tell us that it's something that they wouldn't. They don't want known, I guess. Like it's, I've never, I've been alive fifty-two years, and I know a lot about Egyptians and uh, ancient aliens and all of that. But, but I never once in my whole entire life heard that the Jews enslaved the Egyptians for the Egyptians enslaved the Jews. Yeah, you know, Eric von Daniken, he didn't write about it. Uh, you know, nobody else is saying it. Just very, a uh, very few. Yeah. I, well, I guess there's probably. Well, the point. thing I guess me, what what woke me up really was. Richard Hoagland, because right. back in the 70s and all right. that, mm -hmm. they send them things off to Mars, and Richard Hoagland found the face, and then he found a face on the moon, and then mm -hmm. more and more and more information came in, and now we got guys who take the photos and take off the layers of bullshit, the obfuscation, yeah. you get the real deal. Real and, so, <clears throat> and so back when in the Hoagland days, right. and my own experiences, taught me well there's a lot more going on before contemporary science decided to make oh, yeah. decide what fucking history well, there, was there was clearly a war of some sort oh, yeah. Yeah. that happened on mars oh yeah that happened in our solar system oh yeah you know and 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 i think even it could have been as far back as like whatever twenty six thousand years ago or whenever it was longer i don't know but it had to have been because i'm a big believer of that um other solar system that's flying around out there, you know, with Nemesis and all them stars in it. Uh, no, uh, Nibiru system. Yeah, that, that, Nibiru. It, it has a sun in that and it has its own system, right? So well, that's what some people say. Yeah. Other people say it's just a planet out there that's in our solar system and it comes back once every. Yeah, 30, every 30,000 years. Or yeah, something, something like that. 30, yeah. 30,000 years or something. Yeah. Just like the comets, right? So I figured maybe that that was all in close relation when that war was. Yeah, that. yeah. Well, supposedly that's what uh, that's what Sitchin wrote. Yeah. Okay. And you know, and I tend to believe it because when I was reading Sitchin's books, I'm getting tingles like fucking every chapter. I'm like, wow. God damn, man. Wow. And that don't happen <laughs> oh. when I'm reading books. But I'm getting fucking tingles. I know something going on. Right. And I start. I jumped about Atlantis and what happened in Atlantis. I saw the pyramids in Atlantis, and wow. there are at least two that I saw, but there are in a line together and i was seeing him on that angle and it was exactly the same like the giza pyramid but better it was pristine wow. and the one in front of it was pristine but it was a little smaller and then if there's another one behind the big one i don't know but from them pyramids it was a it was the i felt it was like the pacific ocean but it could have been the atlantic but it, the pyramids were facing to the west from where I was in the east down right. this main road 
down this main road and behind the pyramids was another was an ocean and it was facing west so where you want to put that in the world i don't know but right. it was down it was in tropical costa rica mexico that type of shit well, see, that's what they're trying to say there's some theories and this that, is in my uh, vision there's right? some theories that uh atlantis was over in mexico past life vision. yeah yeah but, so it could have been it could have been in the middle of the atlantic right but i was facing east and so it was a west and the sun was over there right and setting the sun was going down and it lit the sky up beautiful colors awesome. at sunset and I'm standing there enjoying the sunset and this huge marble road with pyramids at the end of it. And there's people standing at the top of the pyramid. There's this little walk <laughs> at the top of the pyramid. There's this little walkway and there were people standing there watching the sunset too. Everybody just, it was like a celebration thing where everybody just come out and watch the sunset. Right. So, and that's what we did. Cause it was so beautiful. And awesome. <laughs> and so them pyramids, whoever built the Giza, I'm assuming built the fucking Atlantis pyramids. Right. And they built all the 33 degree parallel pyramids in oh, India, yeah. India, Asia, Japan, China. They were a power Ukraine. source, right? They're finding out they were power sources. Yeah, that, they, that, and temples and all, whatever. Well, the they, were they, multi, were. they were multi purposed, I guess. But they originally, their original function, I believe, was power source. Yeah. And they powered the earth. They powered the people that had the technology and powered their shit. So yeah. these pyramids, to me, are sort of like the White House for that community. Right. And, you know, but that's they, pretty much I, something like that. Something like that. Some but, generation or some. Yeah. You know, you know, like in each country, they got the big headquarter building. Like in yeah. Ottawa, we got the yeah. whatever the hell that's called. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Parliament. <laughs> Parliament. And then in the United States, they got you they got the White House. And then all the countries they got your main building. Right. But back then, in all the around the world, they had these pyramids that were built. Step pyramids, the Giza oh, yeah. type pyramids. Right. Some of them are underwater. Yeah. I think the one in Gulf of Mexico that sunk. Mm -hmm. they, they saw it on the sonar down there. I seen the pictures. I think that's fucking Atlantis. Well, I wouldn't doubt it. I, I gotta really they go over. So it. Didn't they find a crystal one under the under the ocean too? I, I see a know. bunch of pictures of uh, pyramids all under the water. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Found and there's a great big road with it that goes a big man made road. Yeah, just crazy. That could have been the one on my vector vision. Could man, I'd love to see that shit. Oh, me too. If that me was too. there. Me too. Love to go there as a free human. Yeah. You know, just to do what you want to do, not to fucking yeah. have to. Please don't touch the rope or please yeah. don't <laughs> the of the rope. I, I understand, man. You know, understand. You're only a fucking human. You're born here on earth, but don't touch or interact with yeah. anything. Yeah. It's like when COVID happened, you weren't allowed to go to the fucking woods anymore. You weren't yeah. allowed to go to the beach. Yeah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's just nuts. You can get killed over that shit. Well, we know, we know what's going on there, right? We know they're a government, you know, fucking scammers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm just saying. Might as well come to my house if I kill me now because I'm never going to obey one of your rules. I know, eh? And you and it, me, only be doing me a favor, so. It's going to be a fucking all-out war because oh, I yeah. guarantee you, I guarantee fucking to you, as soon as the humans get enslaved, yeah. guess what happens? They People have been free too long in Canada and the United States and in Europe to go back to the fucking stone age. Oh yeah. And when we work in war, we first fucking ones I'm going after are the ones who started this shit. And they should have been fucking all killed or put the fucking put the fucking jail in World War II. Because they started that war too. And we all know who they're talking about, but I can't say it on YouTube or we can't throw this video. We all know who they are and they should have been dealt with then. But they controlled the whole goddamn economic system and the whole war and you're the fucking kazarian two-step right into your grave <laughs> fuckers yep grandpa knew about it he fucking well, he knew. bought it well and he was from switzerland and you know how much goddamn fucking corruption there is switzerland is the hub of evil <laughs> yep i i I'm, I'm ashamed to be part swiss but I they're know. evil to the bone even the people that don't know are fucking not they're not evil but they ain't pleasant 
I don't know. <laughs> I've never been there. Be a, there's got to be a sweeping fucking just degradation that lies over that land mm-hmm. from all the all the bad doing. You know, it, it's well, one thing to it's one thing to fucking do bad things, but a perpetual bad thing just pushes the the light all out and in a way, and, yeah. pa- and evil takes over. There's a guy. He has a YouTube channel, and uh, he traced the fucking companies back that started. And and you you what was that Wing Chung China virus place? Wuhan, Wuhan, Wuhan. Wuhan yeah. yeah. He traced it from there all the way back to Switzerland. Mm, yeah. A medical company in Switzerland, or a yeah. distributing company, or some fucking thing. But this company was owned by the you know who's so well- and and it was traced all the way to from Europe from Switzerland the main place then it was traced all the way back to Wuhan and fucking Microsoft and that other that other lap dog doctor what's his name Fauci yeah Fauci yeah fuck and what the fuck is Microsoft guy got to do with anything oh he's he's part of the new he's world order literally the richest man in the world bud yeah I know oh BG yeah, he, he fuck face. He's the richest man on the planet. <laughs> That's why. And he's doing the whole. We gotta save the world he from is vaccines. The devil yeah. himself, but yeah, That's know. why he wears them soft sweaters and his meek little tiny look and his faggy talking. <laughs> I know. You know. Fuck off. Oh he's the devil. He <laughs> keeps standing there giving shots to African children in their arm with a needle. He's not no doctor. Yeah. He and him have the same medical degree. No. And, uh, what's that black guy that runs uh, in the UN that used to be? Uh, kingpin in one of them Af- little African countries and killed all the villagers, and he's well, the head of the UN now. Yeah, or th- some part think, of the. I can't recall his name. Yeah. Right. sorry, sorry about that, people. I can't think of his name right off that. It'll come to me. Unbelievable how this world works. But they're moving evil into positions all through the United States and all the concurring people. You can see that now. Yeah, it's yeah. so blatant. You can't even. St- I know. I know. Look who they got in fucking charge. <laughs> Look who is. He drools on himself. He's, he's like in a fucking bottle wash. He's drooling on himself. Yeah. 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 Damn, man. God damn, man. God damn, man. Mm-hmm. He don't fucking say nothing. He says the N-word the other day. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. He, said the, he said the N-word? Yeah. Like I went well, on and Wasn't um, he buddies with the fucking KKK guy down there oh. in the south? He is so crooked he could hide behind a corkscrew. All he does is lie. <laughs> That's all the man does is fucking wakes up in the morning and starts lying. He just reads the paper. I don't yeah. even know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, he's there. got a little fucking thing in his ear, and they tell him what to say every minute of the day when he's he just in public. Repeats. Somebody's telling him yeah. what to say because mm-hmm. he was going through the those doors where all the army people were, and he was, and he said and. And they were talking in his ear, salute the salute the troops. And then he, he's like, oh, salute the troops. Yeah. <laughs> Repeating what they said in his ear. Oh, I didn't see that video, but I'll yeah. find it and I I'll know. get it to you. That'd be awesome. I can't believe what pathetic fucking people we're dealing with. Can you? I mean, that- we don't deal with it. We're in here in Canada. But if you wonder, okay, well, why are you so fucking worried about U.S. politics? Well, I'll tell you why. It directly affects everything yeah. that happens here in canada you go down That's we're going down. if we want to know what's going to happen it's like reading a few it's like reading the, the few tea leaves, the tea leaves. Yeah. yeah you know hey uh, let me give you a little click here the first fucking phone call biden made to any other politician person on the earth let me tell you who it was justin trudeau yeah Easy why would the, <laughs> i mean whatever idiot I bubo. <laughs> oh, we'll call him idiot bubo he uh calls idiot bubo his first call why why that guy is the uh, yeah he you don't do power. nothing you don't do nothing. do nothing playing sock puppets in the afternoon <laughs> and he gets a he gets a call from idiot bidden <laughs> <laughs> Idiot bidden. <laughs> Idiot bidden. Yeah, I know. Fuck and, you know, damn, eh? Yeah. And, and you know what? This is this whole thing of yeah, last fucking hate, couple man. years. Every holiday, you get to look at his his happy socks. Oh, so, I, isn't that? I'd like his, to put on my running shoes and run to Ottawa and punch him right in his face. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Like so get off the bus, call a cab, right to his front door. Ding dong. You know what? And it's on. Hello. <laughs> 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 you can't help me. <laughs> God damn it, I got makeup on my fist. <laughs> I got eyeliner and lipstick on my fist. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the you're talking. I probably wouldn't really probably do that. Probably. No, hell, you'd be dead in a minute. <laughs> yeah. But if, I, if you could, I would. If the sad could. part is I, I, I'm forced to live under his thumb because there's not enough god-fearing thinking people in my country or they've been fooled i can't say that i can't say they're dumb people because canadians are not dumb we're smart we just got fooled and 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 you don't want nobody wants to admit they get fooled nobody it's worse than admitting anything else you know that you got taken you're not going to admit it yeah you're just going to make an excuse excuses don't float the boat though unbelievable eh? I take responsibility for everything I've done. I mean, I have no no problems, and you know, because it makes it easier. You just you Man. have to res- expect there. Uh, you have to respect the law of the land and the law of God. The hell with human law. That's made to deceive Ooh. and to rob you. Take your money away. That's why they make it so convoluted that you can't understand it. Yeah, you're gonna even... read a four hundred page explanation of of a rule or a, uh, uh, or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's where they got you. Like if you, well, I can't believe people live their, their lives. In smoke and big or go by Mark this time. Really? Oh yeah. White one. Anyway, I can't believe people are living. I'm a, people are like, what are them people called that auditors or they do the, the tax people, the tax people. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine tax. living your life in that world. Uh, and the laws and loopholes and laws and politicians and holy most of the people don't need them because we don't you know everybody wants to save money on their taxes because they're getting ripped off and the government gets mad at people for not paying their taxes why we don't know how to do them Stop anyway. taxing the tax. <laughs> you, you hit us so hard seven ways to sunday who wouldn't want to who does even a little granny would doesn't want to pay your ass because she knows it ain't fair yeah like come on Unbelievable. Well, there shouldn't even be tax. I'm in there. I'm 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 in there doing my taxes or whatever, and I got all my papers. I have no fucking clue what they mean. And the guy goes, "Why don't you got the boop boop two t four eight seven six?" And I'm like, "Hey, I, I saw some birds the other day. They're flying mm-hmm. south. They're, <laughs> they're migrating south. I'm like, no, but you ain't got your two t fours." I'm like, I don't know a fucking what you're talking about. All right, here, fuck off. <laughs> do this shit, man. I don't know. You fail school? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> well, hey, tax. Who cares if you know how to do taxes? Fucking insane. No, that, I just through. believe the people like they live in that world. And they get mad at you like you're a piece of shit because you don't know how to do it. I'm like, really? And, Look and at this. Look at these. You're paying them to help the government rip you off. Fucking believable. Oh, I know it's terrible. Did you get a lot of money back this year? I ain't gone yet. No? It's February. You have to do them, right? Or yeah, start? It starts uh, tomorrow. You got Chris's number? I don't have it offhand. I'll get it to you. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, I was talking to him. He's doing it again this year. I have, to go, I have to go to the bank in Windsor, get my papers every year. Oh, yeah? Man. Fuck. So I got to do that. Maybe you want to go. Maybe. Which yeah. depends on when you go, brother. All right, I'll let you know. Um, so let's talk about cool stuff. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Sorry, people. We'll cut this. Thing. Yeah. Okay. So you had any good sightings lately? You have O's? Yeah, I see the Nothing. moon was kicking bright last night. I was laying on the couch watching it, but man, it was full and it was bright. Was it? Eh? Oh yeah, I was just I could keep seeing it out of the corner of my eye and I. I, I said, wow, that moon's nice. I got up, opened the curtain, and it's right in my window, eh? So it's just big as life yeah. right there. And it was awesome. I stared at it for a few minutes. And I went outside and I, I looked up because now we got uh, Orion's right over here, over would be my right shoulder into the, uh, would be 
southwest, I think it is, is in the sky. And I like to check out Orion. They seems every time I look for activity, I've always probably seen it in that direction that I've looked because that's basically Lake Erie too. If you look over straight south, it is to or well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lake know. Erie, you know what I mean, but yeah, we gotta go. I'm dying to go for sure. We gotta get out there. Yep. Once it gets a little bit pinch nicer, another another yep. three weeks, bud, we'll be good to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because you'll be able to stay out later at night. Like now, the sun is starting to get later. <coughs> mm -hmm. Sun's staying up longer, and uh, the groundhog didn't see a shadow, so we're gonna have an early spring. Oh yeah, yeah. So, well, that's important. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and do some fishing at the same time. I was just digging out the yeah. fishing gear today. I was out in the Were garage. You, eh? Cleaning earlier, yeah. Remember when yeah, I was we got in the garage? So, I think so. if we go fishing, that's our excuse to go look for UFOs. Yeah, if we can just sit on the pier in Erie and catch fucking carp all day, I could care less. Go swimming, but I'll have my camera all ready to go. I'll be taking pictures of birds fishing, and then when the night comes, we can just fucking sit on the beach. I gotta get a decent camera. That's look what around. I'm gonna do. Spend four or five hundred bucks on a nice camera. Or a thousand. Or a thousand. If you get one like mine, it's not the best in the world, but hey, it works. Oh, it does. Or you can give me like if you got 18 fucking grand, you can get a thermal imager with a zoom thermal imager. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Eighteen thousand dollars on a camera. <laughs> I would. I can't mean, you got those beautiful bird shots. Those yeah. pictures you post all the time. Yeah, but it's they're not it's not a lot of uh mag megabytes. Right. It's just uh very small, which pisses me off. But the Canon camera gets good, good megabyte pictures, right? A lot. I heard so the phones can... are good nowadays too to take pictures yeah. with. They're better than some cameras they were yeah. saying. That's what they say, but me, well, I need cameras. Right. Well, you've had one in your hand for yeah four years <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah. before that oh yeah i had crappy ones when i was well, when we had remember when we had shitty uh those uh polaroid ones that the pictures yeah. came out as soon as you took your picture good ghost picture cameras though. yeah i still have a polaroid here really yeah it's in the it's in the other room there with the piano yeah it's uh you put the film in it and it, i wonder if you can still get film for it uh, I think you can in certain places. I should go find out. I'd like to take some Polaroid pictures. I got Polaroids of trains. <laughs> 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 I know that. Polaroids of trains. Yeah, that was my big thing back when I was a kid. <laughs> I love to get in the time machine, man. Oh. Fucking nothing. Remember when they that. used to bring the marbles and they drop them all down the tracks when we were younger? Remember the glass marbles? Oh yeah, yeah. And Murray used to bring them to us once in a while. Yeah. Remember get a box of those clear. They weren't smooth. Yeah. They were glass beads that they would melt down and make into other things. Yeah, right? glass. Yeah. Yeah, they were pretty cool, man. You know. Yeah, we got a lot. Of, the then we use party. them for. Then we use them for slingshots. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on other windows. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we were rotten. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder I get paid back so much in my adult life. I never repented for the shit I did when I was a kid. <laughs> that was out of boredom. <laughs> I remember when I filled my air gun full of mustard and uh uh mayonnaise and i shot it all over bill's car <laughs> i filled the end up of of mustard mayonnaise and, cock and boom and it would just <laughs> up, he, chased me, he chased me from the house all the way fucking down the laundry mat <laughs> <Meal Street. laughs> that's funny oh yeah there ain't nothing worse than a paint job for a paint job than mustard. Yeah. <laughs> mustard will lynch a steel blade, for Christ's sake. I didn't hey. know that, though. I was eight. We got to. I got Could have got me the BB gun. There would only been dents in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking where we can go look for UFOs, where we're alone, where no one will come bother us. And I'm thinking the railroad tracks. <laughs> I know a couple good spots too, but it, oh, by Thamesville, yeah, the, that's the fucking bridges, That yeah. bridge, that one bridge goes across. 
on, yeah. on the side road, you know, where you're going in the back way to go to uh, that one bridge right there. And then there's uh, <coughs> there's good spots all over we could go. I know some cliff spots out number three highway. Oh, yeah. Where you can go and, and you're you're on the cliff. Remember I told you my buddy drove his car off of it? Yeah. The trees? yeah. Right there. Nobody goes there. And if you take that one dead end road that goes down around onto the beach, you can walk that beach so far down, you'll never see a soul that. Is that uh, by the mental asylum, the old mental? Yeah. 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 We used and to go there. Inside, and you know beer. what? You're, we you're, used to go. You've got 50 feet of cliff behind yeah. you. And then you, there's only these directions in water. So nobody's yeah. going to come in there. They never do. You, <laughs> you can have a fire. You can build yeah. a shelter. Set we used your to. cameras up. That's we right do. at Lake Erie, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ET Highway. That's, <laughs> e. that's the 401 for ETs. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got to do that. Um, yeah, fuck. That's What the hell is that town called? That's close to there. You go through, and then you take a left to the lake. Town. The city, village, whatever it is. Um, On number three. Um, Where the nut house. What's the nut house called? Well, the Cedar Sound. Springs. Cedar Springs. Yeah. You might be talking about uh, Little Cedar Springs. There's the town Cedar Springs. Well, maybe that's it. But it's I, uh, out yeah. clean that way. The uh, old 98 up that way of there is where the old mental hospital used to be. But you can take that right to the edge, right to the lake, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of good spots, bud. To look it I up. just dug the tents and everything out. Got, I was getting all the camping gear all put together in one spot. and Nice. I got a nice bed, uh, like a bed off the ground now to put my fucking air mattress on. I don't have to put my air mattress on the ground no more. <laughs> I got a, one of those, whatever they call it. Yeah. With all the legs and you put your, your mattress on it. Bed in a bag, I think they call it. Well, I heard Leamington, out by Leamington, is all, it's all, what the hell is that, one of them? Mennonites? No. The, 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 the uh, greenhouses, there's so oh, many yeah. greenhouses that it's just lit up like Toronto. Yeah. And everybody hates that they're moving because of it. Right. And yeah, because they run 24 7. Yeah. So Kingsville, Leamington area, just no good. So we, I'm thinking we got to go down with the number three. We got to go out towards like Clearville and towards uh, London. Yeah. Towards London. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. There's right places there. out there. Oh, for sure. And just park the car somewhere and walk on the beach until we get a good spot where there's no people. Absolutely. No away, we're away from towns. That's the biggest problem. Yeah. Is uh, but if we want a good UFO sighting where it's more free than anything, and there ain't gonna be no problem for the ETs. Right. Yeah. We need a. Well, exactly. We can meditate them in, right? You can. You can. Oh yeah, a, I don't even have to. I just tell session. them to show up at three o'clock, and they do. Exactly. <laughs> I don't even have to try. Exactly, buddy. <coughs> I don't even have to say nothing to them. You just, they don't listen to me anyway too much. So I keep asking for sightings or, or to, uh, to hook up my, my light, but I've seen some questionable images, but I can't, they weren't long enough yeah, yeah. to make a judgment on. It was like, look like, yeah, okay. It was an alien face, but what does an alien face look like? I don't know. I never seen one. Right. But Someday, maybe it was just popping in, having a quick second look, checking me out or something. Who knows? Oh, she lived up north. Oh, it'd be nice oh, wow. to live up north. I got uh, a dead. friend in uh, Capas <laughs> That's way up north. Yeah. That's where Canada and the last road in Canada. <laughs> 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 I think they got winter for fucking nine months out of the year. So far up. <laughs> The spring's only 11 minutes long. Summer's yeah. over two days. Hey, when you get that money, we can go up and see a Borg, James Borg. He's in, he invites us up, invites me up all the time. Sure. If you got the car, we can go there. He lives sure. in the middle of nowhere in Sudbury. Sure. That'd be fun. Spend a couple of days. Hell, there. I'd rent a, rent a truck to go up. Yeah. Rent a nice vehicle, you know, that you can, you know, you get spread out in. You got GPS, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can video out of it. You got video equipment in it, you know. Yeah, something like you know, like the other guys that do TV shows use. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy a nice truck. Who knows? We'll see maybe I'll win a lottery tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm gonna <laughs> buy a truck anyway. I mean, it just, <laughs> just depends on if I'm gonna buy a forty thousand dollar truck or yeah. Don't bother buying a forty thousand. Just get a normal, you know, 
five thousand. By going by a brand new truck right now with this way that if I get it soon enough, from what COVID's done to the automotive industry, trucks are dirt cheap. Really? Eh? Yeah, like expensive trucks are like half off pretty much. So wow. we'll see what happens. Because I want to get something I can use for you know 15 years. I don't want to have to buy another vehicle. You get a trailer. I'm gonna buy a trailer or yeah. build one. Like a trailer you can put anything in, not like a live-in trailer, like a trailer trailer. Yeah. Because when I do the refinishing my antiques and all that, I I gotta have something to haul them around in. If I, yeah. I see stuff at the side of the road, I want to pick it up. You wouldn't believe how many nice chairs and stuff people throw out. That oh, I know. I know. Refinished, sold, you know, sell it to some person for 20 bucks. You know, put five bucks into it and sand it and stain it and sh do whatever it needs to be done. And people appreciate it. Yeah. Especially them old ladies. They love it. The old girls I talk to, they love those. Antiques. I want, you know what I want to do? I want me and you to go to the woods somewhere and just think about Sasquatch for like days before right and build your build your soul to it and then we just go out in the woods drive out well, we'll to go to that spot you were talking about where you you felt yeah we could go the there or we could go up higher just up by muskoka somewhere find a fucking yeah and we can just start walking and i bet you and we'll have a gopro or something on our fucking heads or a recorder i got a recorder and i want to and just me and you walking i bet you just walking Right. We're not looking for Bigfoot. I'm taking pictures of birds. Right. Because that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Nature's. And I bet you we hear wood knocks. We hear stone clacking, if not other things. Wow, that would be awesome. And we don't even see a fucking Sasquatch. But I get, I bet you it'll happen. Never heard one before. I never, well, the fire this. But you know now. You know now. Yeah. No, and so like as we're walking through the woods talking, click, click. Off to our left, that right? Awesome. And there's I don't nothing. Know if they right have there. Bigfoot in Grundy Lake area. Oh yeah, probably. I mean, if I'm hearing them in a woodlot in Southern on fucking Ontario, right, knocking right in front of me and stone right. clacking. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, well, if they're if they're the way we think they are, and they can do what they want, like with dimensional uh, capabilities, dude. then they're probably everywhere they want to be. Yeah. They're not in the cities, probably. It uh, freaks me out. Freak me to have fuck I right just up. Want to see that dog, man? Yeah, I don't want to see that. That would be a bad day, I think, for anybody running across that son of a bitch. Yeah, I've seen a show on him. There ain't a gun you can get in Canada big enough. I don't <laughs> <laughs> At least not for me, anyway. Yeah, that's what we'll have to make sure we have one in case of bears. It will need a cross. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, back, <laughs> back, get back. <laughs> I just bring bear spray. <laughs> he goes. Runs away. <laughs> Canadian bear spray. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he goes, we'll he goes, we'll spray it on our steak if we need any pepper. <laughs> That's funny. That would be awesome to go Bigfoot hunting. I would love that. I never got All right. That. We'll, we'll do that. Yeah. I've done, done some ghost hunting, but I'd like to go do some serious stuff like in some of those abandoned houses in Ontario that yeah. you see all over the place. Like the crooked house that we had on the way to Thamesville there for a while. And then. Yeah. Uh, other places just to go in and see what it feels like in there. Yeah. EVPs. Yeah. You used to do quite a few EVPs. Uh, Remember at Grandma's house? Yeah. You still got those videos up? Oh, uh, no, they're on my other computer somewhere. Oh, they're in my, my drive, which is a Microsoft external drive. Right. They don't work with this fucking computer, the Apple I, OSI oh, or whatever it is. And they don't, they're not compatible. So I can't get the stuff off. Right, but I can get it on. I used to, I used to like, I uh, at least you like watching those uh, EVPs from Grandma's house. I can remember her basement when, as a kid, feeling quite creepy all the time. There was some creepy shit down there. It wasn't evil. No, but it was like it was staring creepy. at you all the time. It reminded me of, I don't know, somehow when I went down there, I felt like England. Like I always felt like yeah, English. yeah, that's it. Yeah, like English feeling, like you know, like how it would feel if you were in England. Yeah, that's how I always felt down there. I never could understand it, but 
That's how I felt. That's grandpa. Grandpa ruled down there. That was his home down there. Was it? Well, that yeah, was, he, he had his it. tools he down there. Shop. Yeah. Yeah, he lived down there. They were fixing 19 tires a day after he got flat. <laughs> Kids be lining up his door. Fix my yeah. tire. Fix my bike tire. Yeah. And they drive down the, the driveway, and it'll blow up because he put too much. <laughs> he put bring too much air in it. Bring it back. Fix it. Fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Happened to me ten times. Yeah. And then you know, you know, you go there once in the morning to get your tire fixed, <laughs> and that pissed him off. You drive to the end of the driveway, and it blows up, and you know you gotta go back, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> Not like to see a pissed off old man with uh, one leg. <laughs> you know, God damn, he just grabs it, he squeezes the bars together. <laughs> this, is, this tire is no good, Richard. We can't do this tire. <laughs> fucking throws it, <laughs> and he's always yelling something in fucking Swedish. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> Oh, grandma's yeah. up there. <laughs> yeah, that, that, boy, the yeah, that was angry. One angry Swiss gentleman, wasn't he? <laughs> so I guess he was Swiss. I don't know. Yeah, he was Swiss. But you can see the war in him, eh? Oh yeah. Uh, fuck. I don't really remember much of him, but I could. I don't. Not. Yeah, he was. He was all family love at one level, but then you trigger something, and he go, and he just turned into this other person. The mm -hmm. war guy, and you you know it was a war guy, and he controlled it as best he can, right? Right. Well, and you, uh, you but he'd take it out on my bike tire and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And then having five daughters, that must yeah. have thrown oh, him fuck. right up the guy. Imagine having five daughters. Nope. Wow. And their friends over. <laughs> Especially our parents, eh? No mm. wonder he spent the day in a fucking hotel. <laughs> well, where was that place in Chatham he went to all the time? The Moose Lodge? Drunk. It's the doctor's office now. Oh, the... the, the uh, whatever they call it, the Montreal House. Yeah, Montreal House. Yeah. Watched hockey and drank. You know, well, that's what all the old men did, right? Yeah. That all that whole generation, they still do it. The ones that are alive, that, yep. that came up under that. I know a bunch of them. They're good old fuckers, though. I, I like yeah. to go over to the Union Hall once in a while. Oh, well, like, gone now. Out, yeah, in the summertime you could, and it was it was cool. I look at the great big fucking crow. I went once looking at my mailbox. Was that right? Yeah, he's right up on the railing. Oh, I saw one go by. Chatham is a uh, crow migratory. Destination. <laughs> Hundred thousand crows. Oh yeah, they're big this year. They're not dirty yeah. either. Like they usually look. They look like they're in good shape. Like yeah, I feed them all my scraps from my supper. No, I don't do it usually because there'll be seven hundred of them in the yard in four minutes. Yeah, I know. That's keeping, why I do it. <laughs> one will be keeping six out the fuck. I got four hundred crows sitting on my patio fighting for a <laughs> fucking burger, and the neighbors are going nuts. That's a bonus. And I'm feeding the crows. That pisses off everybody. So hey, I'm having a good time here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking fight them in my house. Well, one maybe. I should Thank slingshot you. bread over into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> Throw four hundred. Poor <laughs> <laughs> that's what we did in Windsor. The seagulls would be sitting on top of the buildings on all that. We take a pizza, we throw it on top of somebody's car we hated, and <laughs> fucking seagulls would just dive, cover the car, tear the fucking shit and all over the <laughs> tearing Fighting. the pizza apart after it looked like it, it looked like it went down a goddamn dirt road by the time it got done. Oh, that's crazy. That comes <laughs> <laughs> my car. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. hilarious. Yep, scratch the fucking shit out of it. <laughs> well, not really scratch, but you know, left them little white marks. Some seagulls are nasty. Oh yeah. The only fun, bird man. I've ever seen eating a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> tampons. <yeah. laughs> that's just they, they fight over tampons in the Detroit River. I thought it was Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> tampons oh, in the Detroit River. <laughs> yeah. Fucking birds. What are those dying? one birds that go on the cranes, the old cranes down there, the ones that wave? The birds they stick their wing in the air. They hold it? Yeah. They're black. 
Yeah. Comorant. They were, because I told it, we were going, me and the wife were going to ha- on that boat for a party. And uh, we were walking down there, and this one bird was looking at me going like this. <laughs> I said to Pauline, I said, hey, look at that bird waving at us. <laughs> she looks up there, and the bird goes. <laughs> He's drying his wings. And, That's and we mean. just got done blowing one. We were walking up there. We were just laughing our asses off. That bird just kept sticking his wing in the air. Yay! Yay! <laughs> First time I ever saw that. <laughs> That's funny. Pomerant. That's funny. I wonder why they do that. They're drying their wings off. Oh, are they? they dive in the water to get the oh, fish. right, right. That and good. then they'll fly, they'll fly up on top of a crane and they'll just sit there with their wings out <laughs> drying them yeah, that's cool though yeah waving at us that was awesome <laughs> anyway i don't know what else to talk about <laughs> it's, Me neither, bro. it's been a good day yeah oh my goodness it's only three o'clock oh god yeah. i gotta find something to do <laughs> well, the bird migration is coming, so I'll be out doing that. Right. That's cool. Closer to the end of March. I'm going to go finish up in the garage later. Got a bunch more crap to move around. Oh, there's so much so much room I made because I'm getting ready to start doing some work out there, refinishing. I want to build a couple of uh, couple plant stands for inside the house. and I got to find my jigsaw blades is what I got to find. I was looking all over house half acre for them. I got some really nice barn board, really nice barn board. I can make yeah. some make some uh, plant stands out of for the summertime. Well, I'll be over doing my C five. If you want to do put something in the garden this year, you can. You know, I got some plants here we need to grow. I'm trying to grow them so I can just bring them over and drop them in. Right. I don't know if they'll fucking do anything or it, but I don't know how to grow weed. Get allocate. I'm gonna clear that. <laughs> I'm gonna clear the other spot of the the other side of the yard, and uh, I can allocate you a spot down at the end for your very own. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, that'd be cool. Because I'm gonna extend the garden probably by about ten feet, the one way. After yeah, yeah. I get all that brushing that out of there, yeah. I'm gonna have the guys come by with the the chipper and uh, chip up all that brush for me. Get rid of it and because it's gonna be time to dig the garden soon. I could probably dig it the next couple of weeks, get it all the dirt turned and ready to go. I don't wanna yeah. I gotta I wanna do something but with birds to get bird photos, but I, well I can build it. You know what? I'll build a couple feeders. That's a good yeah. idea too. I got all that stuff and all that wood to build some feeders and uh, I'll I'll yeah. build a couple kick ass. Uh, I'd like to build some hummingbird feeders and see if I can get some hummingbirds along the side. Buy those. Or you can buy those. And uh, I, I got, uh, I put raspberries in the front of the garden now too, in front of the garden. So when the raspberries start coming up, I'll put the hummingbird feeders near them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they we were going them. to the flowers. Before. Yeah, that's right. They love the flower. But I mean, you put that bird feeder in, you'll have twenty of them. Okay. Yeah, I, I can, I can hang two or three along that top. Yeah. Well, you just need one, really. It's got four little portholes on it. Mm-hmm. Just, I see whatever. them. They got the little flower, and they stick their little yeah. tongue in the hole, right? And get all the juice, sugar water out. Yeah. And what you do is you hang it near the tree, or you hang it off a tree on a low branch. See, I got that lilac tree right in the middle of the Okay, garden. and then you hang it in there. So what they do is, for me to get pictures, I don't want a goddamn bird feeder in my photo. So right. the bird, the hummingbird, will land on the branch. Mm by itself away from the bird feeder and he'll scratch and do his thing and right. then i'm clicking away right okay. and so that's what you really want well, you, when you come over you can show me where to put it all right that's cool yeah, yeah. i'll go buy one myself so gonna, we'll to, uh, i have to trim that lilac tree this year i'm gonna round it up and make it a little bit smaller so you can show me where to put it when i'm done Oop. i'll do that before it flowers because fuck man that thing's got so many beautiful flowers on it yeah it does eh? it's, a be- it's nice that lilac tree when it's pink yeah uh, Awesome. Yeah. This probably thing probably gets raped by fucking hummingbirds when it's blossoming. <laughs> yeah. Just uh you gotta change it once a week or once every few days or something, but it ain't that much. Oh, that's just sugar problem. water. That's so I'll I'll buy you a pound of sugar. I don't care. Oh, I buy sugar too. Boil water, throw in the sugar, turn it into corn syrup, dump it in. That's really all you gotta do. And yeah. then when it gets all skanky, change it. Change it out. Yeah. Well, before it gets put enough in for them to drink it down and then 
you yeah, don't have yeah. to throw it out, right? Half fill it halfway full. Yeah. That's cool. Well, what we did at Linda's house, we'd take the bird feeder and uh we make we take a big pot and we boil the water for five minutes, sterilize it, then let it cool down, and we take the whole damn thing and we dump a pound of sugar in almost a pound until and you taste it when it gets really sweet and a little bit syrupy. That's right. what you want. And then you you put it in jars. Linda poured mm -hmm. like five jars. Nice. Just and she put it in the fridge. And so whenever we needed it, we take it, take the bird feeder, we clean it out, we dump the boiling water in. Well, she would take uh peroxide because there'd be dead flies in there and mold and oh, yeah, black yeah. shit. And so she's in there cleaning it all out. And then when that was clean, we just took it, took the jar out of the fridge. You didn't have to boil it, you didn't do all that other shit. And he just poured Good it idea. in. Yeah. Good idea, bud. I was thinking of doing it here, but my view is not that great. I got a, I got a, uh, a drill that drills glass, a uh, drill bit that drills in through glass. I, I, I think I'm going to make my own uh, hummingbird. View. Well, why not? Make a couple really cool ones. I don't know how you do that, but. Oh, I, I just drill in the jar and then put a device where they can put their tongue in. That's the same, same. Oh, except okay. as those other ones, maybe go and buy some uh, artificial flowers, glue them on there, where they can get their tongue down and get the water out of the homemade thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll try it out and see what I can do. I like to do glass jars because I got some really old, cool glass jars. That'd be cool. Yeah. 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 I don't know, Dan. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> we need some new people. Hey guys, anybody has any cool experiences you want to come on and talk? Well, I was talking to Daryl call. about maybe doing a video on the weekend, but then I got busy. We should uh, get him to do a video too. Just maybe this coming weekend, I'll I'll, I'll send him a message, see if he wants to do one. Yeah. See okay. if you can get um, Tony Pony Tony on. Yeah. Well, you hammer Tony. Yeah, I, will. I already hammered him, and he said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm coming on. I'm gonna do it. That's it." That never comes on. Yeah. So uh, we'll both hammer him. Fuck it. Definitely. I'll send him a message as well. All right. Try and invite some other people too. Be nice to, to hear some different experiences here and there. Yeah, I don't I know. know what John, John all are doing. He's working. Right. He doesn't have the time. He, eh? he works. He's off Thursday, Friday, so he can do it Thursday, Friday. Well, you guys did that last video. How was, how did that go? It was good. Pretty good. I, I like watched it. part of it. I didn't get a chance to finish it, but uh, it was good. I like what I saw. It was pretty good. He's got That's some not... interesting stories. Being that like, man, he's... fuck, we should be living in the fucking woods in a fucking house. Me, you, John, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, oh, bud. God damn. Cool. I'd like to go hunt the little people. I'm going to hunt little people. You know, hey, you little fucker. The, the, little, <laughs> the little ones they've been seeing in the woods and stuff. Yeah. It's a hunt, you know, hunt. Well, not a hunt. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd like to go, Seek them uh, out. Investigate, Seek them investigate out. The, the theories of yeah. little people. I don't even know how you begin to do that. Me neither. Well, we, we've seen the videos from that one guy. and Oh, this is squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that guy was real. That was bullshit. I don't know. There ain't no fucking thick and five foot fucking lizard in the back of a cave come walking out called fucking whatever. That was freaky. I, think, I don't know how it's he all was. Fucking, it's all CGI. That's why. Well, he and it was too perfect. Okay, that guy. Damn. He sets up a camera on a tripod, walks over there and films himself. And then there's spots where he films something and it's perfectly okay. I'm trying to film a fucking sparrow or a bird, a blue jay. Right. Okay. You got to have the camera like this to your fucking eye. Right. All the time. You just don't hang out and sit on a fucking <laughs> tripod and yeah well I'll look over my shoulder he might show up oh there he is like, guy doesn't even break a fucking sweat 
it take me like a half an hour with my eye in the camera like this. And I get two shots out of it. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not two perfect shots, let alone a fucking video of a little guy going throwing fucking baskets and berries, little people. (laughs) You know, (laughs) come on, man. He's got to try. (laughs) <laughs> and he, it was really good but it was done in such a way you don't catch it you had to watch 20 videos before you start to catch the bullshit see i wouldn't really recognize it either because i'm not proficient yeah in that area like you are you recognize I'm like this that- guy is getting fucking little guys running around throwing berries at each other baskets and mario brothers <laughs> <laughs> i'm fucking how the fuck can he do this he can't even walk <laughs> in the woods without sweating I'm walking in the woods where he would be, and I'd be sweating my ass out, bitching, screaming, breaking my fucking ankle. He's in Ireland, isn't he? (laughs) Yeah, but it's still rocks and shit and moss. Right, right, right. He's just sitting there drawing fucking pictures. Do, 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 do. And the fucking little midget, little tiny guy comes running up. I'll get my camera and get him. (laughs) Well, time to go home. Looks like rain. Come on, man. Fuck. That's cool. I'm glad you. No fucking way. No way. You cannot do that. And I, is you can't. <laughs> you fucking can't. <laughs> I can't. It takes me fucking that all day to get one fucking bird picture. Wow. Like Dan, Dan. When I'm out with spring, April, mm-hmm. May. Yeah. All the fucking warblers come to town. Right. I got this one spot out in the creek, in. In uh, the uh, yeah, well, the cemetery, but it's in the cornfield. Yeah, so it's, it's one farm. spot. Yeah, it's got a spring water runoff. Yeah. It's babbling little brook. It's in the middle of the trees. It's uh, trees along the creek, right. and I just sit there, and the fucking trees are loaded full of birds. Wow. I can barely get pictures, Dan. Wow. And I'm I'm following the bird, and I'm. Refocusing, refocus, 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 click, 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 refocus, 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 wow. click, click, click. Try, and then you got to do the lighting. Did you see the? Did, there was no lighting on them little midget fuckers in his oh, videos. No, not really. There was I, no I leaves, go back and look. no shadows, nothing, man. It's fake. It's fucking wow. fake. Sorry, I don't. This is the way you it is. It out. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. I don't well, want to bust anybody's fake, nuts. It, if it's fake, it's fake, right? Yeah, yeah. He was like, faking it. There's nothing wrong with calling something fake when it's fake, but I wouldn't feel bad about it. Like I just do. I'm not a proficient enough to know. Yeah, I know, but about, man, it's good. To, it's it's good to, that I like to see that and imagine, man. That'd be there's cool. other guys that do it, and they and you come to think of it, the contrast with their videos to their videos are there's a great difference because the other guy's always on the go he's looking down holes he's in there he's saying that's where they live looks yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. never gotten one on film though he's seen their eyes in the dark but this guy here he's got you're right little fucking tiny people running up. and if you watch yeah 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 that's the, the, well the one little guy the one little guy he had a acorn and he had to throw it across the 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 ditch right to another little guy and he took the acorn and he went Oh. And the acorn went. <laughs> he, he, he threw it. He goes, oh. And the acorn left his hand and went <laughs> like, 10 times go. faster than what he put on it. Right. So right. I know it was bullshit. <laughs> it took off like a fucking rocket. No, it should have just went. <laughs> his, the way. <laughs> yeah, he went like that. Oh, tiny man, this high, <laughs> this big. Yeah. And he's or, well, he threw it like a rocket. This big, yeah. He, that was funny. <laughs> that was fucking pretty cool. But <laughs> the thing is, I've read stories of there was one of a logger up in BC, and they were clear cutting, and he saw a bunch come out of a tree, tree stump, or a hole in the ground, or rocks, and they all ran away or something. Fuck, I can't remember, but. Man, and he said he never went back in the woods and fucked him up so much. So hey, who am I to know? I well, I, I went be... through a porthole and saw Sasquatches dressed like humans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not gonna judge, man. No. Sasquatch wearing a suit and tie. Yeah, I'm not judging anybody's I'm experience. Ready to go to his nine to five. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> That's funny. Can't judge anybody when you're fucking one of the 
Freaks. Well, you can tell the difference when they're when they're <laughs> trying to scam the video. Yeah, yeah, that's different. You can tell, right? There, because oh, that, yeah. that's evidence. That's an indication to the deception, right? Yeah. So if he's going through all that trouble and using those tricks that you're recognizing, then he's obviously up to shenanigans. Yeah, there's no way you can do that. I believe in the little people still. I just don't believe in his his method now. Like I, I see a warbler in a bush. Mm -hmm. I'll hang out at that bush for an hour, walking up and down along the 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 bush with my camera to my eye for an hour. This guy just sits down, drawing fucking pictures, having a snack. Yeah, he on a tripod, and he goes, "Oh, there's one over there." And all of a sudden, <laughs> he just shows the image. He just it cuts to the image. It cuts to the image. Yeah, yeah, he don't show him running to the camera, running back, sitting down. And then filming it. No, yeah, it's not like he's like to have an editing crew or anything yeah, yeah. Like that, out in the woods. And he does, yeah, but he does. He has an editing crew. Yeah. That's what they did. Yeah. They cut. They, they cut make it. it look both ways. He's yeah. seen it, you're seeing it, right? Yeah. yeah. Now that come to think of it, the way you say that stuff now, it just it does scream. Yep. Yeah. Once once you start doing it, I'm not a professional professional editor. I you know, I'm a lousy editor, but fucking photography, I'm pretty good at. I'm not right. Yeah, I'm a professional fucking photographer. I take bird pictures just like anybody else, and they're fucking yeah. high quality, awesome shots. Well, but you've gotten fantastic yeah. shots. Granted, I ain't a fucking National I'm Geographic. Surprised I'm surprised your stuff isn't all over the place. Well, yeah, I need Canon for that or Nikon. Yeah. The P1000 just don't cut it. I mean, it can, but right. I can't get in flight. I can't get in flight shots, right. fast moving birds, shit like that. It just don't work. Right. And the 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 autofocus on the P1000 at 800 millimeter is like slow motion. It just don't work. And then by right. the birds gone, by the time you actually get it into focus, right. and then trying to film. Oh, but video is different. The video when you're filming a bird flying, it's right. like this is the focus is pretty good, or a UFO or shit. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you get past the 800 millimeter mark. It gets all so that's why when I do my CE5 and I have to focus on an object way out there, what I do is I see the craft or the cloud and I focus way out 900 millimeter, right, or 800, 400, whatever, and then I'll focus off the cloud. And once it's in focus, I press record, so it's always constantly focused, and right. it will be constantly focused. But if I zoom back if i zoom out it'll be in focus but if i zoom in it'll go unfocused wow do you understand so you gotta leave it where you focus you gotta, yeah you gotta focus on man uh, yeah at at a non-focus so wow. you turn off the autofocus you zoom out to the cloud you hit record you focus you hit record and then it's focused always focused so anything up there and you can pan out a little bit get a wider angle wow. and it'll still be in focus. But if you see a UFO and automatically you, you zoom, you zoom in 800, you have to, and you hit record and it's autofocus. Well, as soon as you go to blue sky and there's a little white dot, it won't even register on the camera, the white dot. Wow. It'll just go. Boo, boo, and you, you never get anything. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just yeah. fucking as soon as you leave the cloud, it's got nothing to focus on. To focus blue sky, on. and it just goes <laughs> and don't know what to do. It's like there's nothing here, Rich. I don't know what to do. So that's why I, I uh not manual focus, but I, I hit uh, lock focus, auto lock or whatever the fuck it is. Lock right. focus. Well, we'll have to keep hunting out for some Nikon cameras or something for used ones. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Somebody selling used ones. Check man. on Facebook. There's a market thing on Facebook. I'll send it to you next time I find it. Sure. You can just chat on market. Because when I go to buy my camera, maybe I'll look on there. Maybe I can score one of those cameras that you want to, you know, and we get some tripods and then we'll have a whole, we can have a bunch yeah. of things. All you, you need is a card. Too, you know? Yeah. GoPro. I want a drone, maybe drone yeah. would be nice too. I don't know how to use a drone because I don't have yeah. a phone, but well, I got a phone. You gotta have a phone to use a drone, don't you? I don't know. I yeah, never, that's your viewer. I uh, I, don't I don't have a phone either. I don't I like I to don't, do it. I don't want to have a fucking cell phone. 
I want a, I want a drone just to catch. You get like a bunch of trumpeter swans in the bay. Oh, you yeah, fly you over them. You fly over them. And then they all take off and they're flying. And you're coming up behind them. Yeah. You're coming up behind them into the, into the setting sun or something. Fuck, that, that would be great. Cool. That would be some nice video. You know what you got to do? Go on YouTube. Go on YouTube and do it. Best drone videos. Award-winning drone videos. Right on. And watch what people do. Unbelievable. Cool. Unbelievable, man. If I knew, if I had a fucking drone when I'd be as a 12-year-old, I'd be a <laughs> fucking millionaire by now. Oh, no kidding. How many and, pictures have you taken over your life? Oh, my God. Well, yeah, and, and I got nothing for it. Wow, I, even even paid, for I it. even paid off the first camera. <laughs> I, even, I have 20 cameras I paid for, and I ain't even paid off the first one with my photos. Holy shit. Yeah, so it's been just a fucking nonsense bullshit reality for me. But well, you just need to be marketed properly. Yeah, I don't know how to market. I'm too busy doing the fucking video. But but think back when you were a kid, what mm -hmm. they have today with drones and and what we know about Sasquatch and what we know about uh, GoPros. Yeah. All that shit. And the computers yeah. we got today. Back in the fucking 70s. We damn, never had nothing. We had fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. We couldn't even fucking do nothing. We were totally fucking out. You had a Vivitar camera. Yeah. Click. Yeah. Then you pay. You had to work your fucking ass off for two weeks to get six dollars to get take it in and get it fucking developed. Yeah. And then yeah. you get the pictures back and the fucking train's all blurry. <laughs> <laughs> then you fucking smash it off the wall. <laughs> Who in the yeah, fuck? Cameras that? back then weren't fuck friendly. Me, man, that's bullshit. They weren't friendly in no. our age when we were kids. There was not much technology around though back then, like for camera wise. It wasn't, you know, if you want, you had to have pay the money. You want to do something really cool? Go on YouTube and put Chatham drone, Chatham, Ontario, yep. drone, drone footage or whatever. Yeah. Do a search Chatham, Ontario drones. Okay. I've been doing it. And there's one guy that does drones and he posted on YouTube and Chatham. Right. And he's getting, there was a time when I was taking pictures of birds in the cemetery and I was sitting there having a break and a fucking drone came up in front of me and went me <laughs> and stopped and looked at me. So I knew the guy was looking real time and then it flew away. <laughs> and I went <laughs> with a fucking smoke sticking out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I should have stealed it. No, but it was like it was, but, but <laughs> Thank you. He's like, what's this? He's like, he's flying and he, he sees something. Like, the oh. squad! And he stopped, he looked at it, and he went, Oh, oh that's a guy sitting there. And I looked at it and I went, oh, like that. And he went, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking on the YouTube for it. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of videos, and there's a lot they got, but Fuck, man, when you if you can become a drone master, the shit you can get. It's like this guy he's in Chatham, he's got this drone and he, he just flies it around and films stupid shit like cornfields. Right. I'm like, dude, take it, film fucking trains going by. You can put that on the fucking video on YouTube and you'll get a thousand hits in a week. You know, and the better you the better you can do, you can be making money from YouTube. That's awesome. But they don't. They just hide. This is my convader. This is the house. This is the kids. It's like, come on, man. Use your fucking head. No. I could be doing that, but there's nowhere else. There's no pretty places to film fucking trains. Not around here. Uh, you got cornfields and a train track. That's it. You can't get up high. You can't get up. Go to the left. Go to the right. You got to have the sun angle. So the sun has to be behind you, lighting up the train, or you're going to get a black train with the sun. <laughs> yeah, from the shadow <laughs> side. It's kind of yeah. pointless there. You'll just have a shadow side. There's only a couple goddamn things you need to know. Wow. And you got a fucking drone and you're flying it around because you got nothing else better to do. Wow. And you're a dumb rich kid and you, you can film trains and make a fucking, fucking $300 a week, two weeks on YouTube, 600 bucks. Are you kidding me? Peep, if you can get good drone footage, check out the top train guys on YouTube. I'm a train freak because I like trains. Yeah. Check out the top videos for trains. Look at their fucking 
videos. There's a guy that goes out, drives out, spends all day in the middle of the desert. <laughs> he goes out consciously and looks for awesome, beautiful places with the sun behind him. And he knows what time the trains are going to go through. Or he just sits there and waits all day. When the train comes, he starts filming it. And dude, he's got a fucking million hits. Wow, that's great. Because it's so fucking beautiful. So beautiful. And so people like to see that, right? Yeah, yeah. And people want to see it. And there's a lot of trained guys out there, and they love that shit. And that guy, he's fucking making a mint. He's paying his rent with YouTube. That's cool. All the rest of it, he's fucking having buying footage. And there's that one guy that does that. He goes out. And he, I don't know. He's retired or something. It's called uh, Off Road Guy. Some Off Road Guy. Mm. I posted on the Facebook group a couple times. Oh, did you? And he just drives his off road vehicle off into the fucking mountains. He's got a drone. He's filming from the drone as he's flying, as he's driving the car through the mountains. He's got the drone filming him. He's getting wow. fucking so many, and it's beautiful. Utterly beautiful, man. And that's what I want to do. That's that's what I should have been doing when I was fucking 16. But <laughs> no. No, no, no. Fuck. You never, yes, you know, I'm just shining out now. Yeah. Beautiful out there. Anyway, guys, we did about two hours. Yeah, let's cut her up. Well, okay, I'll go yell at Try and get Daryl in on. I'm going to make sense of messages and we'll do a video, brother. I'm going to do that actually when I get off and before I go out to the garage, because when we're done here, I'm going to go back out and clean up for another hour before I have dinner. All right. It was fun making a video, brother. Yeah, I hope it wasn't too boring. It's some yeah, threw stuff around. <laughs> yeah, this was more like just a talk video, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It was good though. I enjoy doing a video. I enjoy hearing about your experiences and especially with what's going on with your your dreaming and 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 all of that because that's very interesting. So yeah, but brother. Um, probably Anybody more experience people? tomorrow. All right. Everybody be blessed and have a great day and. Uh, we look forward to doing our next video and anybody wants to come on and has some experiences pipe up don't just sit there wishing you would do it it's fun hell even if you don't get any views it's still fun to talk with different people right brother yeah, that's what he said that's what he did <laughs> <laughs> what he said man what he said all, all right dan people. all right bro cuz talk to you later bud all right man have a good day buddy you too All right, I gotta find the off button here. And I'll post this as soon as I get done processing it. Later, guys.